Hi everyone, welcome back to Crochet Rocks. My name's Tracy, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make my spider repellent. Um, yeah, <laughs> I hate spiders. If you've been watching my channel at all before, then you'll know just how much I hate spiders. And um, really, and this house, um, we're renovating this house somewhat we've been renewing floors and things like that and this um being a very old house and where gary's mum lived there was always lots of spiders there's a lot of wilderness around here it's quite a remote area and there's been some humdingers on the wall you know in the past so um you know there's spiders and so i decided that i was going to try my best to um evict the spiders from the house for want of a better word so normally eviction is a slipper bang done gone evicted but you know i wanted to stop them coming in again you know <laughs> and i'm sorry if you love spiders and you think that's bad but i can't do spiders just really can't and then you know um i know spiders got feelings too but they're not welcome here you know just not so um yeah so what did I do about it I kind of found a, a really good kind of recipe and tweaked it for spider repellent and I'm going to show you how to make it so um but I will just say in the past I've bought crawling insect spray and I've done things like spray underneath beds and things like that where I thought there might be spiders but there isn't any crawling insect spray here there's only fly and wasp and I have to tell you, it does kill them. It really does. Because in, in the conservatory in the porch, there used to be in the cracks quite a few spiders because there was like um, areas where there was a crack above the wall kind of thing. And it's it's hard to explain, but there, there'd there be areas that they could get, get in and hide. Um, they've all gone now, thankfully. They've one by one been been terminated. But spray has has helped it's really worked with them so now I can't say that this house is a spider free zone but there's very very few and they don't show their face around me if they are here so what I do is I make this spray and I go outside and I spray all around the windows that we might open the door frames and front and back windows and door frames and then I come in and I open those windows and I spray all inside where the window kind of fits into the frame and around it and the and the doors inside it may be paranoia you may be right in thinking that but i have a real phobia and a phobia is no fun and i've, I've tried everything to get rid of that phobia i even watched this uh, documentary by the speakmans once they're a, a couple a bizarre couple that have, live in a mansion and they they do these shows and they promised to cure phobias and they had one who was scared of flying one who was scared of spiders I'm scared of it all so I was just so interested and in see if I could eradicate my fears it did nothing absolutely nothing to get rid of mine so uh the only way is to try my best to limit the um the interactions with spiders so hope you like this um feel free to try it um it's not expensive that's the the good thing and you can make it over and over again and i kind of make this and i do it every three or four days um i haven't done it for a whole week because we've had pre pretty bad weather there's not been any windows and doors open so i've uh, i kind of had a bit of a longer um, time between spray-ins but um, I don't think it lingers around for too much longer than say three or four days so I do reckon but I douse it you know I do douse it so it probably isn't as um, uh, you know probably lasts a little bit longer than than most because I really do drench it where I am so kind of uh, obsessed with keeping the little blighters out so yeah anyway let's pause the video and i will go in the kitchen get my bits and pieces together and i'll show you how i make it okay so the 
sorry about that, I forgot to put my mic on. The ingredients that I use then are just peppermint oil, some white vinegar and water and a spray bottle which I did not get handy. So I bought this one, cost me a pound, you know, just one with a trigger spray. So what I do is into a jug and I just want to get this a little bit closer. I put just half a cup of, is that right? Now let's move it up a little smidge. There we go. So half a cup of the white vinegar. I guess any vinegar is good, but brown might stain. Wish they did it where it would pour out, but it comes out enough eventually. So I make, I make this and then I do it again because that bottle holds quite a lot. And I go through it and I spray it all. So, wow. I bought these cup measurements for cakes really, but there we go. So that's one. So that's half a cup of vinegar and then you want one and a half of water. So I've got a whole cup and I'll try not to spill this from the tap all the way to the jug. Okay, well, not very good left-handed, but we'll give it a go. So there's one and I get my half and I'll fill this one up as well. So I don't want to have it too fierce because it will just go everywhere. And then, turn the tap off for a second. I will just put that in my, just pour that into there. The reason um, I haven't put my peppermint oil in is because it's quite, um, well, pungent and it really does kind of stick to, because it's oil, sticks to the side of the jug and even though I wash that jug lots I can't really get the smell out for quite some time and I use this jug to fill up my kettle because I've got one of those make one cup kettles. Now I've seen lots and lots of different recipes I guess for this and they all say about 20 drops of this but I put loads, not 20. I just like, let it go. I put about double that, really. I just, um, I just keep going because this is the stuff that they really don't like. So um, I don't want it weak, I want it strong. So I just let it go <laughs> and keep letting it go. And um, so normally I do 40 to 50 drops of it and it smells so much better than it would if you didn't because you know white vinegar still smells like vinegar at the end of the day so now I'm going to do that all over again I'll put that aside because that's only half filled and I want to make twice the amount now of course you could if you had a big enough jug you could just do the whole amount at, at one go but um, it's not that difficult just to do it a couple of times. I, mean, I have got another bottle of this vinegar. So I don't, I'm not running out or anything. Can't run out of this. It's my magic elixir. Well, I don't know, because I think elixir might, you might drink elixir. So maybe not. That'll do me for now. So back to the water. As soon as I took the lid off, this is a little underfilled because I'm not left-handed and I didn't want to drop it. And it doesn't matter, it doesn't have to be exact, really. So that's one, here's my half. I used to be left-handed many years ago. So right, I'm gonna put that in the sink because I've got to get the smell of vinegar out of it. And I'm gonna decant that back into the bottle again. Oh, nearly dropped it. 
well not dropped it but I nearly spilled it and that would never do because it stinks of vinegar as soon as I took the lid off this pot I could smell the peppermint this um, spray bottle because I as I say I do put rather a lot in so once again needs a little um, tap to get it going there's lots in there not coming out gonna drip this time have I um I haven't drained it there's quite a bit still left in there so just tapping it this time and to get it out I have got another bottle of this as well wonder if it it's gonna drip there we go come on it's gone on strike now but tapping it does the same thing just releases it so again just keep going I put about 40 or 50 in there I know there's lots in there let me come the other side well there isn't actually lots I tap much better with this hand just get the last bits out of here still quite a bit in there but I want to make sure I get it all in there's no actual kind of limit to uh, how much you put in the more you put in the better it smells it just runs out quicker so I think there is still some in there usually it drips quite well but as it did before not wanting to now <laughs> got it stuck that'll do there's quite a lot in there just put the lid on and you've got yourself a very inexpensive shake it to mix it and you're good to go good to uh, spray in all those areas but obviously if you've got spiders in the house spraying them is going to keep them in so um, it's better to try and eradicate them first I didn't but they do, if you spray where they, you think they are, like in those little crevices I told you about, they do come out. Um, they don't like it in there after that. You've kind of contaminated it with this um, spray they don't like. So thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and uh, the notification bell. You'll be informed when there's new videos, of which there will be quite a few coming your way. Um, so this is one of my recipes, but it's not, not a yummy recipe, but serves a good purpose so thanks for watching stay safe everyone bye for now